Okay, continuing with our tour. We're gonna go into an enclosure with some of our Amazons. In here we have very, very wild ones and some that don't have a healthy enough fear of people just yet. Typically we see maybe one or two of these every few years. Uh, most of them in this enclosure are right here right now. Um, that little yellow head right there will fly onto me at some point, which is inappropriate for a wild parrot. Rather than pulling them, putting them in cages, or keeping them as so-called pets, we just give them more time in an uh, environment with other birds of their same size and species, and we limit our interactions with them as people. Eventually, they figure it out. They catch on. Um, but we just give them more time, whether that's a few more months or a few more years in our enclosures, in our system. Um, it has and can be done. They are wild. They will stay wild. But one of the prerequisites for being released is a healthy fear of humans. And as you can see, these two up here do not have that. Um, our guys that are further away, that's the appropriate behavior to have. They're supposed to be wary of me. So right now in this enclosure, we have some birds that will never be released. They can still fly, but they can't fly well. So they can't maintain flight for vast distances or longer periods of time. We also have some guys in here that are very much releasable and will be released in the coming weeks. I just wanted to take advantage of the guys that are a little bit too nice to show you some of the physical characteristics. So we've got a lilac crown up top, a yellow headed Amazon in the middle, and a red crown Amazon on the far side there. So you can really see uh, the size difference between the yellow heads and the other two, and then some of the physical differences. Visitors always love these habituated guys. And they're the ones that frustrate me the most because we want them to be wild, but they'll get there eventually. So moving over here, I wanted to show, we have a couple more yellow heads in this enclosure. This one in particular here is called Ivy. She was shot, she came from Imperial Beach, which is why we call her Ivy. And she was shot four times. She had two BBs and two other metal pellets in her. We almost lost her. It was pretty touch and go, but thanks to the amazing care and work by our veterinarian team that we work with, uh, she made a good recovery. We thought she would never be able to fly again. Um, and while she is deemed non-releasable due to her inability to maintain flight for very long, she can get along really well in this enclosure. As you can see, she's up on the branch right now and she can fly all around and get to the food and everything. So we're pretty impressed with how far that she's come. I call her she, but we never had her DNA tested. One of the species that we don't really see in San Diego is a red lord Amazon. So up here you can see red on the lords and the seer. A little bit of yellow underneath the eye. Apologies, <laughs> they're dive bombing me today. This is not appropriate, guys. So anyway, these are our Amazons. Here, I don't want to disturb them too much because we don't want to stress them out. 